Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the VMware Workstation KVM mode and what that'll do is it'll allow you to open a virtual machine via the command line uh, without having to open up the VMware Workstation software first and that way you could have a full screen uh, virtual machine running and you could actually create shortcuts to virtual machines and so on. So I'll kind of show you how it works here, it's pretty simple. So the first thing you need to do is navigate uh, to your VMware Workstation installation path right there. So this is the default unless you change it to something else. Here should be the same. And then you need to find the VMX file for a VM, VM that you want to use this on. So normally you could just browse to where you installed your virtual machines and you know get your path from there. So there's various commands here. To, so to start a VM in KVM mode, it's just you run the command and you put the path to your VMX file in quotes. Then there's the power off switch. Uh, the release from KVM switch, which is detach. And then there's some preferences. Let's look at the preferences here first. So once you're in that path, you could just type in this command. So it's two dashes. And you kind of wait a second, it'll pop up the preferences. So uh, the cycle, the hotkey, so that's default is pause. So that'll get you in and out of your KVM mode because it takes up the full screen and escape and the... Uh, you could do Control alt but it, it'll kind of get you out. It'll give you a little hand instead of a mouse, and then you could do Alt-Tab to get to your main windows, but the pause key will actually get you out of it completely, and you could go back in by using pause again. Then you have all your general options here, you know, for sharing the clipboard and uh, so on. And if you have more than one monitor, you could decide which monitor you want to run it on. And then when you run the exit command, you know, what you want it to do, leave the virtual machine running in the background is the default, or you can suspend or power off. And that kind of thing. Okay, so I don't have any virtual machines running, so I want to start this guy here, this Windows 11 virtual machine. So I'm going to copy this command here, paste it in there. So it's telling you what the hotkey is to pause. So, like I said, so if I had this open in a VMware Workstation, even if it wasn't running, if I had that tab open, you'd have to close that tab, otherwise you'd get an error saying you couldn't do it. And if it was running, you could close the tab and just have it suspended, and then you could actually start it up in the KVM mode. So you don't have to shut it down first if you have it open in Workstation. You could just close the tab, uh, pause it or suspend it, and then come back in this way. Okay, so, so now we got this full screen Windows 11 VM here. And see if I do the Control alt keys, see it gives me a hand, and then I could do, you know, alt tab and go back to whatever I want here. Or if I just do pause, the default key, see it takes me out and it kind of takes it away from the taskbar, and I could do pause again to bring me back in there. Okay, so now that we have this running, there's power off, which is obvious, and if I want to release it, well, let's do exit first actually. So this will exit the uh, KVM mode. Okay, so now if I press pause, it's gone, so it's not running. It's still running in the background, it's just out of KVM mode. So to get it back, I just do the simple start again here. So now you can see it's going back into KVM mode, but the VM's already running, so it didn't have to start it again. Okay, then if I do pause, I get out of it again. Then, like I said, I could do power off, or if I want to release it, I could do this command here. So that releases it. So now if I go into workstation, so this one was called uh, Windows 11 New. So you can see it's still running in workstation. So it's kind of a cool way just to kind of cycle back and forth between your VMs, you know, in the KVM mode, and if you want to run it in workstation, that kind of thing. And another thing you could do, too, is you could create uh, shortcuts to VMs, which I have. Where do I have it? Right here. So to do that, you find the uh, VMware-KVM command. You could just copy it. Put it on your desktop, wherever paste shortcut, so on. And then to, to uh, have it configured for a VM, 
what you want to do, let me go to the one I already have configured here, go to the properties, and then the target. So here's the default here after the exe and the quote. Put that same path to your VMs in quote that you have here just at the end of the executable. So let me go to the one that hasn't been changed here. So what you do, just go to the end here, do a space, and then your VM, VMX file path in quotes after that, and then what you could do is just run it from there. See, now here's the error because I have it open in this tab here, so I can't run it in the KVM. So I could either close workstation or I could close this tab and I could click run in the background. Now if I go back to my shortcut, and close this first, there we go. Took me right into it. So hopefully that makes sense here. Let me pause and get out of here. So I'll put all this stuff in the description and then you could try it out for yourself and just uh, see how it works. And if you like it, you could just make shortcuts for your VMs and run them in KVM mode or just, you know, do it manually from the command prompt and that kind of thing. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.